five years for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years for this young Five years for you. What the, like, picture, draw a picture for us. Mm. Five years from now. Mm. Um, I would say five years from now, I would be just um, fathering more people. Mm. Mm. I believe God's called me to be a father. Yeah. And I think there are so many people that are just starving for a father. Yeah. And it's crazy because it seems like almost by weeks, you know, every week that goes by, I'm running into somebody that I find out that at the root of whatever yeah. it is that they're going through, they're yeah. starving for a father. Yeah. And God's like, okay, I want you to fill that need. Mm. And sometimes it's kind of overwhelming because I'm like, man, I already got my own family. <laughs> I got my own kids and, you know, yeah. some of you know they have their special needs. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I'm lay pastor in our, our, our community. We have about 20 under us, and then sometimes I have to help some of the other pastors, and it can, it can seem overwhelming. And then I'm like, I feel like even in this season, God has reconnected me to my own natural family. Wow. Like they're beginning to come to me. Wow. And so it's like, man, this is a lot, Lord. And, mm. and then it's like more. Wow, <laughs> yeah. People that aren't, you know, yeah. a part of my family. And um, so I. And it's crazy. I was telling Pastor Gabe, I said, you know, it's like God didn't baby me. Mm -hmm. wow. You know what I mean? I'm mm. like, I, I never had a, I never had a father. Mm. So I'm like, but his response to me is, I'm just going to make you a father. Mm. And so um, I really feel like that. I, I, and, and it's, I, I, I don't know how how wide it's going to go because sometimes I think, you know, like maybe I'll just spend some time with this person in a Bible study, but then they're telling me, oh, but what about my, my friend so-and-so? Can they come? Yeah. Or um, what about this person? They need it too. And so it just it just starts growing yeah. already, wow. you know, without um, me even trying to do anything. So I think at the center of it, um, is as I learn more and more about mm -hmm. God being a father to me, he's mm -hmm. making me a father to others. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the total ins and outs of that, but that was kind of what I feel like. Mm -hmm. Man. A couple of you guys. What do you see in Pastor Tyrell's destiny? I see that same thing. I mean, one of the things that I see you, that there's going to be such a depth of wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's a deep you know, wisdom and knowledge. And you can hear that thing like, yeah, I didn't go to school for this. You know what I mean? I didn't like, you know, I didn't study for hours and you know but God's gonna bring you you are gonna study you are gonna do these kind of things but there's just gonna be a thing where again others are gonna come to you and say teach me how to do that replicate that and so I can take it into my context and um so even over the things that you've been sharing like in the middle talk we've had like I've been blown away and I'm like wow God like I mean there's so much in this man you know and I really believe that within the next five years more of that's gonna come out and more of it's gonna come out and it's gonna expand like you said, I never had a father, but yet God's given me a heart of a father. Like, yeah. Things like that that you just thought, well, I didn't have this, and I didn't think God said, well, I have it. Yeah. And you know, Dara, I really see you. You know, we always talk about how Joseph is the pattern son of the house, and, you know, people who want sonship, they look at Joseph, and you know what I mean? And a lot of young, new sons and daughters look at Joseph. And, but I feel like you're the key pattern son of the house where um, not only the young and new ones, but then the old ones. Yeah. The ones that have been with us that never really learned about sonship. Because, you know, we didn't know about the sonship and covering in the beginning. It's just, you know, past three years thing, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think, like, as, like, our sonship, like, is, like, multiplying all over the world, you know? And what that does is, for the new ones, it's exciting. Yeah. But the old ones that's been with us for long periods of time, like, like they feel kind of disconnected. They feel yeah. like, I'm not, I don't belong to this, to this new world. Mm -hmm. Or well, what's my place in this new world? You know, this new thing that God is doing at our church. Yeah. But see, they could look at you and say, oh, that's how you do it. Does that make sense? You've been with us from day one. Like, you've known us even before day one, you know? And so I feel like God's going to really take you in a deeper 
uh, sonship of the house. Like with your relationship with Benjamin and I, I think it's going to be, God's going to just take it deeper than ever. You know, like it started out with friendship and then like it turned into pastor, you know, we became your pastor, you, you know, and then we've always had to kind of balance between friendship and a pastor and being a member of that, you know, and it's going to go deeper, like deeper into now like sonship, right? And that's going to be, because what Benjamin's been saying was, I become a better, more, a uh, better covering and a father in a deeper authority way when I learn how to be a better son, you know? And so I feel like that's going to happen, like, in, in spiritual covering for you in next, you know, in this new season. And so that in five years, it's like not only are you going to bring in new sons and daughters, but the old ones that feel, the, 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 the older brothers, mm -hmm. you're going to bring them in. Mm -hmm. And they're going to look at you because they don't know how to do what to do. Mm -hmm. But you become that, this is how you do it. Mm -hmm. And they just see what well, that girl could do it, I could do it, mm -hmm. type of thing, right? And so I believe you and Chin Wei, you're going to just, you're like the glue. Mm -hmm. That's going to bring old and new and make yeah. it one. So I'm really thankful for you, you know. And like giving you three different type of natural children, they're all so different. Like it's the, that like God's using that to teach you be the father to all these different types of spiritual sons and yeah. daughters. They have yeah. different needs and different wants and different issues and different destinies that you like. You're learning to be that father, also with your children, right? So Father, we thank you for Pastor. Uh, Darrell, Lord, Father, we thank you that you placed him here from the beginning to be the set example, Lord. God, that for people to see, oh, that's how you become selfless in the body of Christ. Oh, that's how you submit. Oh, that's how you walk in your destiny. Oh, that's how you, Father. Oh, that's how you become a son. Lord, I thank you for the set example, God, you have placed upon Pastor Darrell, Lord. And God, I thank you. The things that, that he's ha he had to go through past so many years were difficult things, God, difficult situations, Lord. Father, it wasn't just for him and his family, but it was for your kingdom. And God, I thank you. The, 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 the experience of cross and the struggle is coming to an end, Lord. And the, the, season, of, the season of fruitfulness has come. God, people have learned how to persevere and walk by faith even when they go through, God, the shadow of death, God, the valleys of death, Lord, the difficult, dark moments. Father, people have looked to them and know, God, and that God is real, God, even in those dark moments. But, Lord, you have, God, transitioned them into a new place where people could see their lives and say, oh, that's how you still remain fruitful and faithful even through blessings, Lord. God, I thank you for this new season, God, where you're going to be a new example in the, in the new season of fruitfulness and blessing, God. Father, we establish Pastor Darrell and his family in this, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.